Imagine you are in a Roblox game and then you see a giant chicken nugget and are like, wow, that's so cool. I wonder how they made it. Well, today I'll find out how top games make these models and why they are so good. So I'll be remaking models from the most popular shooter game on Roblox, Rivals. All right, guys, to finally pay off my PetSim 99 debt, I will first need to open Blender. Okay, so uh, now what do I do? Well, I guess I better get to making some models. And the first thing I think I'll make is the cookies and milk skin. You guys might question why I'm making this out of all the rival's weapons, and honestly, I have no idea why I chose this. It's just not something too hard to make, nor too easy. So time to start making this. To start off, I began working on the basic plate I needed for the cookies and milk because my plan was to use the plate as some sort of like template for the cookies I was going to have to create. Also, if the plate is looking so super low poly then please don't mind it it's supposed to be that way because that's how the rival skin looks like and guys please don't hate me for how slow i model all right guys if you don't want to be as slow as i am and want to become an amazing scripter then you should join one of the best scripting courses scripting secrets after i joined this course my scripting skills improved a lot and the videos were pretty easy to understand so if you guys would also like to join this course and become a pro scripter then click my link to it below but let's get back to the video okay so after i made the basic plate and cookie i then moved on to coloring them i tried my best to color them to how they were supposed to be but I don't know how well it turned out. Also, the colors will look different in studio because of the lighting it has. After I was done with the colors, I pretty much just messed around with the cookie model until I thought it looked decent. Once I was finally done with all that, then I finally started to add the chocolate chips to the cookie. But wait, after I did that, I had the bright idea of copying and pasting the cookies to make three variants. Also, when I finished making the three I pretty much just made two of each and then placed them around. And I don't think anyone wants to see me take years to place down six cookies. So here's the final result. Now with the cookies and milk skin done and looking pretty decent, it's time to move on to the harder challenge. And you guys might ask, well, what is it? And the next thing I'm going to be making is the assault rifle. Yes, the basic starter weapon that everyone has. So this might not seem that hard to make since it's a starter weapon, but this is actually much, much harder to make than the milk and cookie skin. All right, let's stop stalling and actually get started on this. Okay, so when I was making this, I thought it was the best idea ever to start from the bottom of the gun and build up. And later in the video, I kind of regretted this. Okay, well, the first thing I started to make was the handle of the gun or bottom part thing and it was like looking absolutely trash. And after I suffered from looking at it, I then moved on to making the top part of it. Also, when I was making the top part of it, I kind of messed up and had to fix it because it was basically supposed to be flat and mine was not flat at all. And if you're wondering why I had not started to color the model yet, it's because this model is much more complex than the last one, so I wanted to fully finish it first. I also don't think anyone wants to be bored by how slow I model and add features, so let's skip to when I actually start adding some more stuff. All right, guys, we just travel into the future, and now we are back with me adding some actual features. So the first thing I added was some little details on the side that the gun had. It's kind of hard to describe, so I will show you a picture of what I'm talking about on screen. After I was done with those, I decided to start working on the magazine of the gun, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, then it's basically just the part of the gun that holds all of the ammo. And while I was making this, I couldn't make it look good, so I spent like another 10 minutes trying to make it look better, but it didn't end up looking better. And after that, I decided to take a break. Okay, so after my break, I decided it was time to lock in and get some progress. So the next thing I started to work on was the back part of the gun because I didn't really know what else to do. But after I got some progress on that, I decided to move on again to the top part of the gun. Also, please don't hate me for not knowing the names of any of these parts. Once I got some progress on the top, I once again added more of the tiny details on the side, but I added a lot more this time because the top was supposed to have a lot more. So here's how it looked after I added all of the side details. After all of that, I moved on to making the aimer and the rest of the top of the gun. So I was finally starting to get some really good progress, but 
I think I was messing around with the aimer for a little too long because it took me around 20 minutes to make both of them. But after I did finally finish them, I moved on to the front part of the gun and this was the last part I needed, so I was finally almost done. I quickly made the front of the gun so I could finish up, and guys, after all this time, here's the amazing, fantastic final result. Oh! So, it looks great, right? Yeah, of course it does. And I know the magazine doesn't look the greatest, but we are going to have to leave it so we can actually make the gun look good. So, let's move on to the last stage of 3D modeling. Texturing. Yay. Okay, so yes, I need to color the gun, but I'm not the best at it, so it might not look that good. But basically, I'm just going to choose like an orange or tan color and a black color. And then, I'm just going to use those two colors. But here's an ultra speed run of me coloring the gun. Okay, now that the coloring is done, here's the actual final result of the gun. And it actually doesn't look too bad, but I still think the magazine looks trash and could have been better. But besides that, I honestly think I did pretty good. So now we get on to the best part, comparing this gun to the cookie and milk skin. And remember, the skin was easier to make than this. Okay, so I'm going to put both on screen next to each other. And I think you guys should rate in the comments which one you think is better. Personally, I think the assault rifle is better. But that could be just because it was harder to make and I just want to appreciate my own work. So that's why you guys should rate it in the comments below. But this is going to be the end of my video. Don't forget to join the Discord. Bye!